What's up everybody? I want to take a quick look at using Nova Launcher on the Galaxy S8. The Galaxy phones have a launcher which is called TouchWiz. This is something that Samsung has created in their infinite wisdom on top of stock Android. Some people like TouchWiz. It's gotten a lot better over the years. I personally don't care for it. I prefer Nova Launcher not only because of the look of it but also the customization options that you get with it. Not only just looks but also functionality as well. So I've already installed it here. So I'm going to go ahead and open it from here. This is the Play Store. So I'll go ahead and hit open and here we're taken to our non touchwiz home screen if i hit the home button it takes me back to touchwiz because that's the default right now and you can see this is all touchwiz touchwiz is goofy folders and what have you but to actually set nova launcher as your default you go into settings apps then you're going to go to default apps and right here home screen see it says touchwiz home tap on that and I'm going to set Nova Launcher as my default home button. So now when I hit home, it's taking me to my Nova Launcher screen. If you've seen my previous videos, this home screen looks very similar. Nova Launcher lets you back up your home screens from older devices and then you can reload them on new devices. So it makes setting up the phone how you like it really quick and easy. So I, I really like that. As I said, some of the functionality it gives you on top of TouchWiz is pretty awesome. Some of the examples that I've done, as you can see, I have no notification bar. I've chosen to hide that. If I wanted to unhide that, I've set gestures up to where if I swipe up, it brings that bar back, swipe up again, it hides it. These are in the premium version of Nova Launcher. There's a free version and a paid version. The gestures are part of the paid version, but you can do a lot of the customization of appearance wise in the free version. Uh, if I go ahead and tap the app button that brings on my app drawer and I've set mine to vertical scrolling in a continuous list. One of the things you can do is you can customize how it looks when you transition to home screens. So right now I have it doing a disappearing thing where it shrinks out the screen and then it pops in the next one. So again, another customization option. You can see my folders down here look different as well. This is the pixel launcher style folders and you'll see they look different than the Samsung ones. You can change the icon size. You can change the appearance of icons. For example, if I want to change what my phone looks like, I go here, hit edit, and then tap here. And then there's some built-in ones. So if I tap that, these are some stock icons that come in Nova Launcher. This also supports icon packs. So if you just go in the Play Store and look up icon packs or Nova Launcher icons, there's tons of options out there so you can customize this stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and leave that as is for right now. Um, gallery apps, again, that's where you would do the uh, uh, icon packs you would select that and then if you've downloaded any icons you can get them from there or just have more themes and it'll do a, a default search for you go ahead and go back home real quick actually let's just change that real quick just so you can see it in action done and now there we go our phone icon is different and you can change the folders themselves so we've got a little uh, nougat style menu pop up here if I go to edit I can give it a label we can change the icon swipe to open the folder or you can give it an action I've chosen to do the phone when I swipe it and I've done a uh, swipe action with all of these so for example this one if I swipe it opens up my camera go home this guy if I swipe opens up Google now this one if I swipe doesn't open anything yet but you can add tons of customizations and go in here drop down so you can do Nova actions which will do any of these little shortcuts here in the app drawer button, I've done the Google Now option. You can also bring up Assistant, which is pretty cool. Or you can do apps, which I've done in the phone, the phone folder. Or you can do shortcuts, such as um, activities, directions to a place, and then Nova Actions in addition to all this other stuff up here. So just lots of customization options. Go ahead and go into the settings so you can see what I'm talking about here. So settings. Uh, we have settings for the desktop the app and widget drawers, the dock itself. You can change the background of the dock, how many pages are on the dock, icons, all just tons of tons of options. What the folders look like. Night mode is for this. That's what I have turned on right now. Gestures and inputs is what I was talking about. So see I'm swiping up, toggle notification bar, swipe down, expand notifications. So we could try some of these out too. So swipe down, brings my notifications down. Swiping down with two gestures brings up my app drawer up with two brings up my Nova settings. The gesture stuff is in the paid version. I've personally been using Nova Launcher for years and I think it's totally worth it. I love all the extra features that it gives me. I love the customization options it gives me. And I think it's it's 100% worth the cost of 
unlocking the full feature set but if you're not sure you want to mess around with something like this download the free version it's really easy to get into really easy to set up and if you don't like it you could just uninstall it from the play store or if you're not keen on using it all the time you just go back into the settings like i showed you and then you can always set your default back to touch with home and it'll take you back to your touch with home screen but for me Nova Launcher is what I use and that's what I prefer as my daily driver as far as launchers go. So I'll put a link to this in the description down below or you can just search Nova Launcher in the Play Store. If you do decide to check it out, let me know what you think. I'll put a link to the wallpaper in the description as well. I know a lot of times when I do these people ask what wallpaper I'm using. I used the Z Edge to get this wallpaper. I did a video on that a long time ago. That's a great resource and I'll put a link to this in the description down below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this in the future, make sure to hit that subscribe button. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions for me, you can find me on Facebook, Twitter, Google+, and Instagram. So until next time, take care.